Hello, Olivia friends. My name is Alicia and I am a certified personal trainer and lifestyle consultant at Olivia. I am so happy you guys are here to join me for another fabulous workout. Uh, what we'll be doing is working the upper body. So we'll be uh, working the front of the arms, the back of the arms, the shoulders, um, some back movements. If we have some time at the end, we'll incorporate some core uh, exercises too. We'll always begin with a warm up and then a cool down when we're finished with the workout. If this is your first time on this fitness journey, please uh, make sure to contact your doctor, especially if you have any limitations, make sure you are clear to exercise. Um, if this isn't your first time, great, feel free to um, up the pounds, make it a little more challenging or repetitions, uh, but please make sure you check with your doctor. Um, now what we'll begin uh, with is a warm up. So uh, before that, make sure that you have your water bottle near you at all times. So drink that water, hydration is so important. Uh, in the beginning of your workout, during your workout, and after. So feel free to pause the video. Make sure that you are really listening to your body. My strength and endurance is going to be different than yours, and yours is going to be different than mine. So please um, make sure that you are really listening to that body there. Um, drink your water. Like I said, take those breaks if you need. So what we'll begin first with is a warm up. I do have dumbbells near me. We'll need some dumbbells. Um, if you don't have dumbbells, then uh, plates are fine. If you have just single plates, I might use these. They're a little bit lighter than my dumbbells. Um, if you don't have those at home, feel free to use water bottles or cans of soup, uh, anything to add some resistance. So let's begin here. We'll begin with just a warm up. Since we're doing upper body, it's important that our muscles are getting ready to work and are warmed up to prevent that injury. So I'm just gonna do backward circles here, big ones. Perfect, forward, we'll do 10. Perfect, if you need more of those, feel free. Do some little circles here. And backwards. Perfect. We'll cross over here, just stretch out that shoulder. We'll be working our shoulders a lot today. So, gently crossing over. And pulling to do that stretch, gentle stretch. All right, other side here. All right, let's give ourselves some hugs here. Really warming up. Let's do some torso twist. This feels so good, especially if you're in the office all day. You don't really have this movement. You might hear my back crack even. <laughs> all right, let's do some reaches. Just reaching. Do three more. Ooh, some shoulder rolls forward. Backwards. You can do some head rolls here. Remember, we're just warming up the body. Activating those muscles to work really hard for us today. Our bodies are so amazing. Side to side. All right, perfect. So once you're warmed up here, we'll begin with our first exercise. 
Uh, I'm gonna grab some dumbbells here. And I'm gonna show you the movement first and then we'll get into it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to be doing a hammer curl. So you're coming up, your weights are to your side, and you're coming up here. And once you're here, you're squeezing, remember to lift squeeze your bicep. And then from here, we're pressing into a military press, it's called. So we're working the shoulders and the biceps as one movement. So curl here. Curl, press. Perfect, perfect. So that's the movement. What we'll be doing is we'll be doing uh, two sets of this. We'll do 10 total, okay? Remember to listen to your body. If you need to grab some lighter weights or heavier weights, feel free to do so. All right, so let's begin. Two. Three. Four. Five, you got this. Six. Nice. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one, you got it. Ten. Woo! Perfect. Shake out that those arms there. I'm gonna grab a drink of water, feel free to do so. We're gonna do that again. All right. Whew. All right, let's do that again here. Ready, second set, you got this. All right, ready, one. Two, three, four, you got it, five, nice, six, seven, Woo. eight, nine, last one, ten, perfect. Right, shake it out. Nice, your upper body's gonna be so strong. <laughs> All right, the next movement that we're gonna do, now you can use dumbbells, remember cans of soup, water bottles, plates. Um, this is more of a challenging move, so I would definitely recommend going lighter and then increasing it if you need. I'll show you the movement, the movement with uh, dumbbells first here, so one um, arm is going to be straight out, okay? And then the other one, we're gonna do a lateral raise. So we're really isolating that muscle and building strength by this movement, of just kind of staying, standing still there um, with this arm. It's about building strength. Seems like an easy thing to do, but when you're into it, it's going to be a little challenging. So we're going to try for 10. So with this one up and then 10, then we're going to switch to the other side. Do the same thing. If you find that when you're doing this um, movement here and your dumbbell is dropping, dropping, maybe it's time to grab a lighter weight there. Now I am going to grab some lighter weights. I'm going to grab my little pound, my little um, plates here. And so we're gonna start with the left arm uh, out in front of us. Remember our stance, we're never standing like this. We're having our feet um, shoulder width apart. It helps with uh, balance here. You can easily lose your balance if you're doing movements like this. So really strong stance here. So we're going to be doing uh, 10 on each side here. Starting left is up and the right is going to come laterally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, nice job. Other side. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. You guys should be feeling it here. Roll it out. Give yourself some hugs too if you need. Your body is working so hard for you. I'm gonna grab a little drink of water here. Nice job, nice job. All right, remember we're gonna do that whole thing again. So, I'm gonna challenge myself a little bit here now. You don't have to do this, but this is building some strength, so I'm gonna try with my dumbbells. If it gets a little bit um, too heavy for me, um, then I'll switch to a lighter weight. Again, listen to your body. So, grab my dumbbells, and then we are going Remember, uh, left side is going to be in front of us, and we are doing that raise on the right side. So, left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Perfect. Nice. Go. My other side. One, two, three, four, five. You got this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Now my arms were shaking a little bit there, so I don't know if I could do my dumbbells for another set. Luckily, we're done with that movement. So the next one here, and we're going to grab our dumbbells again, and we are going to do a row and a tricep kickback. So I'm going to show you from the side here. For here, our knees are slightly bent, our shoulders are back, and we're coming here. Um, in an angle, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna row. When we row here, it's important we can kind of see that my shoulder blade blades are pinching together, so we're really working the back here. Remember, our, our neck is just in a neutral position. We're not up like this, we're not down, just neutral. So when we row, so we're gonna row, but then we are going to add a tricep tricep kickback, okay? I'm gonna show you without weight here. Rowing, and what we're gonna do, we're keeping our elbows in the same position, but we're going to just hinge here, and that's gonna work the back of the arms, which are the triceps, okay? What I have found is if, with that movement, if you slightly Move your wrist now. I'm not saying to break your wrist here. <laughs> Just slightly flick it, slightly. You're really isolating uh, your tricep muscle a little bit better. Now I'm gonna move my mat just so I can come a little closer here. So we're rowing, tricep, okay? Rowing, tricep. Down. Okay. Remember, our booty is out. We're slightly bent. All right. You ready for this movement here? Again, listen to your body. We'll be doing 10 total. All right. So I have my dumbbells in my hand. And I'm going to row tricep. Two, three, four, five, pinching the shoulder blades when you come up, six, seven, eight, you got this, 
nine, ten. All right, let's take a break there. Just want to remind you guys to always breathe through your movements here. Never hold your breath. It's really important. It's really easy to hold your breath, especially if the move is kind of challenging. But make sure you're breathing at all times. Grab a drink of water. Back in your arms. I don't know if you're feeling it, but I'm definitely feeling it here. All right. Whew. Grabbing my weights again. Back in that same position here. And we're rowing. And then tricep. All right, guys, you got this. Let's do it. One. Two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes, nine, ten. Woo, perfect. Sometimes it's helpful if you have a mirror. Set up wherever you work out. It's nice to make sure that you're doing the movements correctly. It kind of helps with a mirror here. All right, let's kind of just loosen up our body here. That was a challenging move. Good job with that. It's awesome. Give yourself some hugs. You're working hard, getting stronger and stronger. Okay. So the next one that we are going to do, we're gonna work our back again here, our upper back. Okay, so I'm taking plates here. I'm coming down into the same um, position as we did the row. These are just slightly bent here. I'm gonna slightly bend my knees. What we're doing is we're coming with knees bent, we're coming out into a Y and then we're coming in here at so a v i guess y v y v you gotta think of it that way so when we're out and we're coming in remember our knees are slightly bent at the whole the whole time here but when we're coming into that v again i don't know if you can see here but y and then v we are pinching those shoulder plate, bait, blades. <laughs> We're pinching the shoulder blades, okay? That's super important to really isolate that muscle. So now you can certainly grab your dumbbells. Again, I'm gonna use a lighter weight. If you have a band like this, you could even, for this movement, you could do like a lat pull down, kind of the same movement here. Put the band around and you're coming and you're squeezing. Up and squeezing. Up and squeezing. Up, squeeze. So feel free to do it that way. I'm gonna grab the plates here. Again, we're gonna do 10 total um, and two sets, okay? So knees are slightly bent and we're coming out and two of these. So you're ready. Do 10 here. One, two, three, you got it. Four, five, six, seven, nine. Last one. 10, squeeze. Perfect. Perfect. We get a little bit of some strength in our legs going on here when we're slightly bent. A little two for one. <sighs> Grab a drink of water, roll out those shoulders, those arms, get ready for the next set here. All right. Again, make sure you're breathing. All right, you guys. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, nice job, six, seven, keep it up, 
eight, nine, ten. Squeeze, hold, hold. Perfect. Woo! You guys are working it. Good job here. All right. So the next movement that we're gonna do, let's end it with some core. It's always good to incorporate some core. We'll also be working on our shoulders um, a little bit here. Um, what we're gonna be doing is, I don't know if you can kind of yeah, adjust here, can you know what? Adjust my mat a little bit here. We'll be doing some mountain climbers. So we're in a plank position and we're coming up just straight through. If you want it a little more challenging, you can uh, go knee to elbow, knee to elbow, and kind of cross out, cross over. So let's do 10 here, keeping our back in one position, our booty's not up, we're not sunk down in one position here. So let's do 10 mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten. Perfect. Stretch it out. Nice job. Take a little breather. We're working hard today. Let's do it again. You know why? Because we we feel strong today, that's why. Let's do this. <laughs> Again, listen to your body, all jokes aside. All right, let's do it again, 10. This time I'm gonna cross over opposite knee to opposite elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Perfect. Stretch it out. All right. Whew. You know one thing that we didn't work here? It's our chest. Since we're on the ground here, let's do a little bit of some um, push-ups. <laughs> now, with this, you can keep your knees on the ground. Here, you can cross them or um, like this. And then we're just coming down into a push-up here. It's a little bit easier uh, than a full-on push-up. Now, you can do a regular push-up without your knees on the ground. Feel free to do so. I'm gonna do um, the push-up with the knees on the ground here. And letting, remember, we're just lowering down and letting our arms do the work. Letting our chest get close to the ground here. So let's do 10 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Nice job, nice job. Stretch it out. Let's do it one more time. This is such a great workout, you guys. Do the chest again, upper body day. All right, take a longer break if you need. Coming down. Remember to hold that core tight. Hold it tight, make sure to breathe. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, last one, ten. Woo, perfect. Stretch it out here. Stand up. We are finished with that workout. Let's do some arm circles. Forward, good job you guys. Backwards. Woo. Move out the shoulders, forward, backwards, crossing over. Let's hold this a little bit here. Good 
job. Make sure when you're done with this workout, you grab a nutritious snack, fuel your body, make sure that you are hydrating too, drinking your water. it over, rubbing the elbow here, stretching it out, pulling slightly, other side, Putting our hands on our hip, having the other arm grab the elbow, pulling slightly. Nice job. Other side. If you need deeper stretches, please feel free to do so. You guys worked out hard today. Great job. Thank you so much for joining me for this upper body workout. I hope to have you join me next time. If you have any questions about certain muscle groups or the exercises performed today, please direct them to fitness at Livia.com and we'll be happy to answer those questions. Great job. Bye.